right here looking at the Ruger 1022 takedown uh, rifle. You know, 1022 has been around since the early 60s. Very popular, probably the most popular 22 semi-automatic rifle in the in the country right now, maybe in the world. They made millions of these things. But the takedown we reviewed a, a couple of years ago when it first came out. But this is we got two interesting new versions of the takedown here, so we won't replay all that same ground again. We'll just show you what's different about these. These have mag pull stocks on them. Uh, this has got the, the heavier mag pull stock. Uh, it's got adjustable butt plates here. It comes with extra spacers. You can take them in or out to adjust the length of pull on this if you need to adjust it for somebody short or if you're hunting or something got on a lot of heavy clothing for you folks that live way up north where it's winter time about 11 months out of the year but anyway they're dandy rifles they got uh, threaded barrels on them the muzzles threaded so you can uh, shoot or put a can on there if you want to they've got fiber optic front sight adjustable rear sight uh, they're as reliable as a 1022 you know which is about as reliable as you can get on a 22 semi-automatic rifle they both come with scope bases to screw on here and uh, that's pretty much it for this one this comes in one magazine 10 shot Ruger mag pluck this mag out of here they come with a 10 uh, 10 shot Ruger rotary magazine so they fit flush with the bottom of the stock like I said they're both mag pull stocks they both take down What I like best though is this version right here with the Magpul backpacker stock. It's a lot lighter. It comes with a 10 round mag here just like the other, but it also has extra magazines here in the buckstock. Holds three more loaded magazines. You got a total of 40 rounds plus one in the chamber. You can have 41 that you can carry in this gun, not much weight. It's got three extra mags in here. These 10 shot mags fit here. It also has a high-rise cheek piece you can put on if you want to put a scope on it or whatever this high-rise cheek piece replaces this one right here just pop one off pop the other on gives you about an extra half inch a rise on that cheek piece taking this thing apart if you want to make it really compact to carry like I said lock up bolt on pull this off insert your breech in right there and it'll lock shut Locks together like that. You can carry this thing in a backpack, book bag, uh, whatever you want to do to transport this thing really compact. And uh, getting it off there, you push this, push these in on the side, pops right off, put it back in, and you're ready to go. Uh, another thing, you got some storage here in this grip cap. If you want to store something small like a, whatever you might need, if you got an optic on there, you need batteries for them, a good place for that. You can put a few little Hershey Kisses or m ms in there. Something like that if you want to, but this pops out. You can store stuff in that grip. Anyways, the Magpul stock. Really love this backpacker stock. Like I said, this is my favorite of the two versions. Dandy little rifle, and we'll shoot it a little bit. And these are available only through uh, Davidson's or the distributor for these. So if your uh, dealer does not deal with Davidson, go to galleryofgun.com. Click on the Gun Genie, and you'll get prices from different dealers in your area competing for your business on these fine 1022s. MSRP on these is uh, $549 on each gun, uh, but you can buy it for less than that. Click on the Gun Genie, and you'll get prices from the different dealers. Uh, total cost, taxes, government extortion fees, everything it will cost you to buy this rifle from uh, galleryofguns.com.